breaking news for you. Huge breaking news for you. Make sure you put this date in your diaries. You will not want to miss it. September 25th, that is when Anthony Joshua will fight Alexander Usyk at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for the WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight titles. It will be live on Sky Sports box office. Joshua returns to London for his fifth stadium fight, looking to create more history as he faces his latest WBO mandatory challenger at the new state-of-the-art home of Tottenham Hotspur. That date again, September 25th. Well, it'll be Usyk's first world turtle title fight at heavyweight after he previously unified the cruiserweight division. Joshua, as we know, was due to fight Tyson Fury, but talks broke down. Joshua says he's focused on Usyk and wants to deliver a statement performance. He's been speaking to Andy Scott. How are you feeling now? You've got a date, a venue and an opponent. Alexander Usyk, September 25th at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It was good. It was good. Um... Supposed to be fighting August 14th. That fell through. So we're back again. I've got a good management team, good promotional company that are like getting me the dates and the fight. So if one falls through, I know I'll have to defend again at some stage. So I just kind of keep my mind active. It's been a good period as well. The world slowed down. So I've had a bit of free time and stuff like that. But I've also been training, ticking over, which has been important. And um, I've been able to work on other things. And now I've got a date set fully locked in. What about these amazing surroundings? You've fought in stadiums before. Um, you've been out across the roof of the stadium and you've touched the, the golden cockerel there as well and had a look down. I asked you if you were scared of heights. You sort of phased it out and said you were fine. But this is a, an amazing stadium to, to fight in. Unbelievable stadium. Like What an honour it is, especially to be like defending slash fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world. I don't take these things lightly. It's going to be rocking in here, you know. They just gave us like a brief history on the way the stadium was built and stuff like that and just like the acoustics the way they've designed it so when the fans are in here it just is electrifying so that type of atmosphere and energy it can't be denied and that runs through my body so 25th of september i'm going to be here soaking it all in and uh, oozing it out in the ring you've mentioned Usyk um numerous times that you always thought you would fight him perhaps not in this order you thought that it might be the undisputed heavyweight champion against the undisputed cruiserweight champion it's not worked out that way but how highly do you rate him rate all my opponents. I rate all my opponents. Uh, he's good. And that's all I can really say. But it's all about the final bell and whose hands are raised at the end. And that will prove who's the best. But he's good. But I need to be better. You both have that legacy of the London 2012 games as well, both gold medalists. Yeah, correct. I've done mine in a short span of time, from the Dow walked into the gym to get into the Olympics and winning. Like three, three years, three and a half years. He's got uh, had a long vast amateur career he got a gold as well and we've both been on the same trajectory as professionals and it just shows that the hustlers always meet at the top right they say the cream always re uh, rises to the top and that's why we're going to be competing here in this phenomenal stadium uh, he's a great challenger for the heavyweight titles even though he's cruiserweight champion but he's a great challenger for the heavyweight titles and uh, I'm looking to to do do a good job handle business because I have my eyes set on other things. You just mentioned the, the final bell, it's about what the result is at the yeah. final bell and how much of it is about the result and the performance as well as that. Do you want to win this fight with a statement performance or is it just about winning and staying on that trajectory towards Undisputed? No, all about statement performances. It's like it's weird because I like being normal, I like being around the shops, I like just chilling out around the local parks and stuff like that but at the same time it's weird because when I step into that ring no matter how much chilling I do in my local area and mixing with people and being a nice guy and opening doors, it's all about winning. When I'm in that ring, it's all about winning. So it is about the final performances. It's about uh, training in the right fashion so I can go in there and uh, look good because that adds stock to your value. You know, So you don't just want to win, you want to look good while winning. And also, fighting the right opponents. When you fight good opponents, people respect it. People have to give you credit. Now the dust has settled, um, how do you feel towards the sort of breakdown in negotiations for the Tyson Fury fight? It was one that so many people were looking forward to. It's, it's not happened. How do you reflect on that whole period? Well, I would have loved to have boxed for the Undisputed Championship of the World because I knew it was a fight for the public. Do you know what I mean? It's like, that was a big fight, man. Uh, we had everything set up and ready. And... I've got to move forward. We can't keep on dwelling on it. And just on that, I just hope people see that I'm keen, I'm willing. And that's it. That's what I want people to do is just respect me while I'm boxing 
and understand that I want to bring entertainment to their TV screens and to their eyes and make them witness that you know the British scene is alive and the heavyweight division is thriving in the UK. From your side, though, is the the blame on on his team and, and his doorstep? You know, points of fingers always. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I don't want to point any fingers. But um, look, if the fight, I don't know what to say. It would have happened if if it could have, but there was other reasons why it didn't. But I was definitely ready. You know, so we move forward. We move forward. I've got another challenger. He's a good fighter, just as good. And I've got to be serious about him now. So he'll, he'll definitely step up. He'll definitely take the fight. And that's all I need is people that are serious. And the next chapter, I don't want to go already get on to the next chapter because we're on this one. But it is, it is, the, it. But it is, the, it is the Undisputed exactly. Championship. Yeah. You've, you've made no secret. I've worked hard to get these belts. I'm not going to give them up. No way. So in your mind, you want to beat Alexander Usyk in style and then Undisputed titles next year. Uh, you know, no. we're, we're quite a way into the year already. Yeah. That obviously means the winner of Tyson Fury and, and Deontay Wilder uh, if and when it happens in October. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, the most important fight for me is my next one. You know, that's the most important fight, but you have to have like visions about where you want to get to. So I have that vision of I want to fight for the Undisputed Championship of the World. And that's why I was annoying not fighting in August because I was set up to fight again in December. But now it's been pushed back and stuff like that. But when the time's right, everything will happen in divine timing. But I just got to stay consistent, stay ready and get past each step of the way because once I defeat Usyk, who knows what will happen next? Will I fight Fury? Will I fight Wilder? Will I fight Dylan? Will I fight Ruiz? Will I fight Ortiz? Will I fight this person? Who knows what will happen? So for me, I just got to stay on track, stay on course and make sure I just get ready for each fight along the way but have that long-term plan. So Joshua says he wants to make a statement. Now, an interview with his promoter, Eddie Hearn, just reaching us now. He tells us the heavyweight champion just needs to focus on winning. Just feels like a great time to be announcing another big stadium fight. We got announced Josh Warrington earlier this week at Headingley and British sport now really firing back. And of course, this, you know, the biggest star in British boxing and probably world boxing, Anthony Joshua. Big fight against Alexander Usyk. You know, we know a lot of talk about the Fury fight that's on ice for now, but this is probably the biggest fight out there but that fight. Two Olympic gold medalists, a unified heavyweight world champion against an undisputed cruiserweight world champion. It's a thrilling fight and uh, the first big fight at the new Spurs Stadium. So over 60,000 there, September the 25th. We can't wait. We can't wait to, to bring big stadium fights back to, to British Fox. I just think he needs to win. You know, it's a very, very tough fight. I think AJ deserves a lot of credit. But once again, stepping in with one of these kind of challenges, you know, he's a throwback fighter. You look at his resume from Dillian White and um, Klitschko and Takam at short notice and then Parker in a unification fight, Povetkin, Ruiz twice, Pulev, now Usyk. These are consecutive fights. So he's, he's had a tremendous run and he's, he's, he's up for the challenge. You know, he likes to test himself against great fighters. Usyk has proven himself to be a pound for pound fighter. You know, he's, he's on everybody's top 10 pound-for-pound pound list. And ironically, AJ isn't. So it's a good way to break through to that pound-for-pound pound list as well. But this is a really tough fight. And I, I think that victory is the most important thing. Always great to make a statement. Um, but he's got to go out there against a, a world-class fighter and, and just keep on doing what he's doing, which is winning and progressing his career. Talking about making a statement, what about that shirt that Eddie had on? All right, let's recap the news then. September 25th, Anthony Joshua will fight Alexander Usyk at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for the WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight titles. It'll be live on Sky Sports box office. And here's what the Spurs champ chairman, Daniel Levy, has had to say about it. He said this, this is a huge occasion for Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Anthony Joshua is an icon in the world of sport and to have him here, fight here in London N17 against a top opponent in Alexander Usyk will be amazing for the area of Tottenham. This event will once again showcase the stadium's ability to take the hosting of world-class sporting occasions to the next level. We cannot wait for September 25th, nor can we. Well, this is how the fighters compare. Usyk is three years older and three inches shorter, therefore has a smaller reach. But it will not be easy for the defending champion, Joshua. He faces an undefeated fighter with a knockout rate of 72%. Joshua's is better, though, despite the one loss on his resume. Here's a coincidence as well. Usyk returning to the city where he struck heavyweight gold at the same games that Joshua won super heavyweight gold.